welcome back to my channel. This is Donna. This is Planning with Donna Smith-Wilson. And today I have another spread for you in my classic vertical neutral recollection social media planner for the week of July the 19th through the 25th. Um, welcome. If you clicked on this video, thank you so much. Um, stick around, like, subscribe. Um, I would love to have you as part of my planner family. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm using the Kale of a Plan. Um, this is the Roy G. Bibb book. And I'm going to do some yellow florals today, if you haven't figured that out already. So, I love these yellow florals. I think they are beautiful. And I think yellow is her favorite color anyhow. And it's my grandbaby's favorite color. And she's going to be spending an absurd amount of time with me this summer. So I thought I would do this for her. Let me get it on here. I got the same spot I got that one. Because once I lay it down, it's going to be down. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not trying to tear up her stickers. Uh, I mean, I have cut them up, chopped them up, and everything else, and I've done the same with Live Love Pasha's stickers. But I'm trying to keep it super simple, minimal, but functional, and, you know, just get the spread accomplished without, you know, minimal damage here. So, so far, I'm already in love. Already. Like, it's like, seriously, this is gorgeous. And the thing that I love about it is that she has boxes that match it. Let me find them. I know they're in here. Probably right in front of me. Um, she has those bright, bright, there they are. These bright, super bright yellow boxes that are fantabulous. Okay. Got a shadow there. Okay. So, I'm going to probably do some, a little bit of layering, just because uh, I've got a, I'm getting too rigid with it, and I'm like, I, I can't keep being rigid with it. Like, I've got to do some layering and all that good stuff. So, I think I'm going to do this. No, let's do this box. I could go all the way up here and do it if I want. And let's do this little baby right here. These are just gorge. Alrighty, let's do, I wish these were a little darker, the green. Because I would like to incorporate some green in here. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in some little dots. Put one here. She's got me hooked on the dots. Like every time I do a plan now, it's like, okay, I've got to put down dots. I just, I think they add a punch to the, to the spreads. I think they're fabulous. I think I'm gonna go here and here. Do one up here. So I have a question for you guys. What are some of your favorite planner, YouTuber people? Leave comments below, please. I just wanna see how many people are watching like the same content. And I just really think, I would like to know the answer to that question. So I'm gonna do another box, but it's gonna be this bright, bright yellow. And I'm gonna put it, right like so. 
And then I'm gonna come back here. And I'm gonna put another floral. Uh, let's do this one. And I think I'm gonna cut it in half. And run it up the side of that box right there. Let me do another, yeah. I think we're just gonna leave it like so. Okay, there, there, and now I need something here or here. Let's do this here. It is so hot in this room. I could just ugh, pass out. And I'll do a light one up here. And what do you think? think what I'm going to do is put, I think I'm going to put this, let me cut that off. Be amazed when you cut off some of the overhang, how much prettier it looks. So that's that. I want to do something about all this grayness. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, let me find it. I might have to do washi. Let me see. Don't think I have a bright yellow washi. I'm pretty sure that I don't. Let's look anyway. Not one that's pretty like this, bright and vibrant and looking cute and all that. So what I might do is use this gold. Let me trim off the edge. Let me see how it's going to look. I'm not going to try to cover up because I think that would make it look super ugly. But I'm just going to try to put like and that looks super ugly. Come on there. There we go. A little bit more finished. Okay. Just to give it some camouflage I might put another one, this will come off my finger, over here. Let me nip it off on the corner. Just to help it pop a little bit. And, what do you think? Maybe okay, let's do and I think what I need to do is let's go on that 
way. This one's going to go this way. Pull that up. Here. I think it gives it a little something. I mean, I just feel like all of that gray was like blinding, for lack of a better word. And I think, I mean, I think with that, it gives it a little extra something, something, something. I don't know what, but it does. Um, so what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool. You know, I have to rub these in. I think they look pretty cute. That one needs a little something. I try not to do it too hard because it shakes my, my camera. Let me look at it so I can see what I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not, not bad at all. I would sort of like to bring out the dates. That's probably the only thing I don't like about this is that the dates are so faint on here. It's almost like you can't even see them. Um, I got my social media stickers and I got a bunch from, I just had them. Like, how can I lose something that fast? They're not under there. Um, um, I have her date dots, um, Steph's Design Space. I had got a bunch of um, stickers from her for Monday through Sunday. And what did I do with them? I put them right here. So let's do that, just to bring that out. And the way I'm gonna do it, if I can get them off of here, some of these come off really super easy, is I'm gonna do them like this. Monday. So the date is still there. Yeah. See, that pops, like you can see it. The other ones are so faint that you can't even hardly see what you're looking at. And I think that brings that out a lot. Better. I'm loving that. And you can still see the numbers. And if you wanted to, you could even go over the numbers with a marker. If it wasn't, if it still wasn't dark enough for you, you could do that. But I think it's fine. Like I said, this is my social media planner, and it's going to be a lot more simplistic than all the other stuff that you're used to seeing. Um, I'm just trying to keep it like really simple, just because you know it's. I keep a lot of information in here and tracking and stuff like that and and this planner is just harder to use i don't know any other way to put it i have found it a bit challenging here we go see i like that i like that so much better and let's go ahead and use one of her to do's and put it Right here. I love this font. I think these fonts are so pretty that she has. I really like them. And let's use a social media. I usually do that on Sunday. I tabulate everything on a Sunday. And I'm probably going to work on it like Wednesdays and Sundays. Because this new job, it's going to be, I'm going to have to do some rearranging. Let's do another to do right here. I love it. I think it looks hella cute. I used the Roy G. Biv uh, Volume 2 Caliber Plan stickers um, in this spread, and I used Steph's Design Space social media stickers, to do stickers, and date stickers so i hope that you guys like this video i hope that you will actually hit that like button i really 
appreciate it when you do. It really helps me out. Leave a comment. Talk to me about things that you would like to see. And hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers by the end of July. Um, and that would really help me out a bunch. So I hope that you like today's um, plan with me in my recollections. Social media planner, classic vertical, neutral. Um, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.